Alrighty. Welcome back, champions. This is speed distance time of quantitative reasoning. Now, speed distance time is probably one of the most repetitive and predictable types of questions in the whole section. So the negative of that is this gets pretty boring really quickly once you have it down pat. But of course, the positive is once you do have it down pat, this becomes one of the easiest question types to go through. This becomes one of the quickest question types to go through. And this becomes a question that you will be very, very happy to see in your actual UCATs. The only thing you really need is the speed distance time triangle. This is something you could write down, say on your piece of paper or whiteboard at the beginning of every single QR section that you do. Just to remind yourself in the situation that a speed distance time question does come up of what you need to approach it. And to be honest, this speed distance time triangle is literally all you need. Seriously, because if you can use this effectively, then the rest of speed distance time becomes a piece of cake. The only uh, thing that's stopping us from these speed distance time questions becomes not, um, not, not knowing what to do, but rather going through that interpretation phase. But that's exactly what we'll be doing today, going through that interpretation phase together. So without further ado, I present to you the speed distance time triangle. This probably won't be the first time that you've seen it. It's nothing revolutionary, but... I just want to emphasize it here again because it's literally all you need. Here, speed will equal distance over time because we have this dividing line here. Here, distance will actually equal speed times time. And time will equal distance over speed here because we have that dividing line there. So moving on to the action items. I would really, really highly suggest you get comfortable with using the speed distance time triangle, okay? Practice it, practice using it wherever possible. You saw how many scenarios there were, almost every single scenario where I had to use the speed distance time triangle and I was comfortable with it, so I could apply it really well. The only way to get quicker at uh, using this would, you know, it's pretty intuitive, right? To actually use this. So instead of just, um, you know, if you see another speed distance time question come up in your practice, just laboring about not knowing what to do, remember to use the speed distance time triangle. So that has been speed distance time. Well done. And I will see you in the next video.